Self-driving cars are on the way to Austin. On Saturday, we told you about the big announcement. In addition to Lexus SUVs, Google is about to start testing its own cars that are built from scratch. But as KXAN's Amanda Dugan reports, there are some concerns about sharing the road with these cars. Google has already been testing their self-driving SUV in Austin, and more self-driving vehicles are expected to arrive in upcoming weeks. However, cyclists are concerned about whether these self-driving vehicles will be able to recognize them once they're on the roadways. This came up on an online bike forum when an Austin cyclist posted the Google self-driving car seemed confused by him and was hesitant to move forward. So we asked Google's director of communications, Courtney Hone, about how their cars will share the road with people on bicycles. She says the self-driving cars are also being designed to be able to recognize directional hand motions from cyclists so they're able to prepare for a cyclist next move. So we recognize that cyclists have their own behaviors and follow rules sometimes very differently than other vehicles on the road or pedestrians. Over time that helps to teach the car's sensors and softwares what cyclists look like and how they tend to behave. In addition to cyclists, Google tells me that another one of the biggest issues they've encountered on Austin roadways is deer. Researchers are working to design the self-driving vehicles to react to a deer in the roadway appropriately. In downtown Austin, Amanda Dugan, KXAN News. Google says it's actually been testing its self-driving cars to recognize cyclist hand motions for years. Even though the testing in Austin is relatively new, the company says it's been testing its car's interactions with cyclists in Mountain View, California since 2009.